Yeah. Yeah. I'm watching my vlogs as well. Huh? So you watch my vlog as well? I do. I watch it. Mm. Yeah. I put all the names. I don't know. How do you find them? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, we back in the hood where it's hopeless. So right now, I haven't even touched this for a bit. But today, we are with Mr. Oka TV, as you know. But we're going to hold interview, we're going to have an interview for John Lewis, Chestnut High for sure. So wish me luck, guys. So I'm just going to go for the whole process of just doing a job interview. I'm just for a video myself, just talking to myself, preparing myself for the interview. This how it goes. I hate applying for jobs, I hate interviews, I hate preparing for interviews. Yes, mom, I heard you, mate. Back to me. I hate interviews, I hate applying for jobs, I hate preparing for interviews. I just hate working, you know, if you get what I mean, like, I want to be myself, be my own boss, I want to be an entrepreneur, but that's in due time, because I've got a few business ideas that need to flourish, but unfortunately, I'm in a space, I'm in a space of my own time, no, space of my own time anyway, is what I'm trying to say, I'm in a graduate also, but, you know, 25, looking for a job, you know, the whole shebang, need to help my mama, you know, she's a single mama, yeah, but, fortunately, I'm not going to play my circumstances on life, I'm just got to do shit, innit? Is what it is, but you know, in due time, I will get there. I know I will. What it takes is defining your own path. The best piece of advice I have for someone trying to succeed in the film industry or any creative space is if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. Uh, do you Snapchat less now that you do the so I'm still procrastinating? It's like two o'clock. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna get it done soon. I'm watching Casey Nizier's vlogs. That was some great advice, wasn't it? Well, let's continue. Daily vlogs? No. There's some personal objectives. Good customer service. Now hold on. So, I basically like to repeat. I like to type all my shit up like this. So yeah, basically like to type in all my stuff and just basically type in, I really have the questions there and then basically repeat to myself until I can say, say without looking. So I just keep doing that, doing that, reading and just typing, reading, all that to myself. So basically talking to myself for how long until I can say to myself and then feel comfortable enough to not look and then yeah. And these, most of these questions do not come out, but it just helps you in general. Oh. Big one. Man, not unhelpful. Helpful attitude, as well as the last and good first impression of the business. Big two. Oh. Okay, so Sean, can you tell me how do you, what's the question, how do you prioritize your workload? Well, basically, I start my day by writing a to-do list in order of urgency and importance, and also look at any critical deadlines that are done. I pace myself, I make sure to organize my desk or folders so that I can maximize productivity with ease. Throughout the day, I would reevaluate my workload in case I need to prioritize it if necessary. Okay, I'll get in there slowly but surely, slowly, slowly, slowly. To add value to the efficient and profitable running of a department in order to achieve your business and personal object objectives, along with those of your team and branch. We'll get a, what's it called, a haircut. I won't call it a haircut, but more like a shave. You just shave this place, this place, I'll just trim it down. I don't really need to get a whole haircut because my dress just put it down for me. So I just need to shave this side so I can go to the interview and she can look at me and go, Oh, that's a cute boy. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go.
So we're going to the barbers right now, it's like down there. I can't really take you in because it's full of Caribbeans. <laughs> I mean, just vlogging myself, it's quite weird, don't you think? So hopefully I'll come back out and look as nice as ever. Not like a super savage. Tapping into me. So I forgot I had to go buy milk for my mum and then I might as well buy some biscuits for myself and then go watch it man because I don't know if you can see me but it's dark so yeah as soon as I get home let's go so it's 12 midnight I'm back here again still reading all these notes and trying to put in my head seems like I'm getting to it but the fact is I just really hate this so I feel like I got this. I feel like I'm ready. So let's go to tomorrow morning. Yo, today of the interview, I feel ready and that. So I'm just gonna get in my car and make my way to Chestnut and that. My hair's all down as well. So yeah, you can see all the. It's gone now. So. Mm. See the trim there coming nice and clean so yeah i feel ready all blessed so wish me luck and let's hope for the best Shit, I almost forgot my earrings. Let me take that off. But yeah, I've landed now. Got there for a minute. It was quite hard to find because it had some next area. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, I'm like famous. Early is always good to be punctual, you know. So they can tell that right. This guy came early. He's got a good time management. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm about to leave soon. Hopefully, like read up some shit first and then get in there and see what's going. And yeah. Got my tie ready and stuff, so hopefully it won't even be too long. I should be back in a minute. <laughs> Peace. So I'm back. Interview. You see, see when it comes to interviews, yeah. I don't like talking about it because you don't know what is going to happen. You can think you've done the most, you've done so well, and then next thing you know, you don't have experience. So I don't know. I'm just gonna tell you guys, just wait. If I get the job, I'm gonna tell you. So, it is what it is. If I don't, I don't. I just get back to the supplying and shit. But, yeah, man. Hopefully, things go right for me, man. And, you know, I can get to and Cause all I'm only doing just to make more money and get my help out with my mom and my brother and my family. So, they know this as well. I'm not really the type of, I just can't understand that these days, I don't like working for anyone, so but I just gotta do it just to help out. So, regardless, we're gonna see what's gonna happen. But yeah, man, thank you all for watching. 